is a, that is one wondrous hood. Yeah, it keeps me warm right now. <laughs> it certainly does. And what chilly weather we're having. Friends, mm -hmm. we are here coming to you from our living room. I don't know why we're rugged up, but it just felt like the right thing to do. <laughs> and this week, we have a fun little video for you um, because we celebrated, ta-da! Christmas in July. Yeah, we like to celebrate Christmas in the middle of our coldest season, which is now. Mm. Sometimes we celebrate six months to Christmas, so we do like on the 24th or 5th of June. June. Yep. This year we had a bang up celebration just last week that our young families here at the D'Anthony Bruderoff community put on for us. The pictures will yeah. speak for themselves. It was just a very beautiful evening. We'll join them in just a moment, but you were saying that this is sort of an Australian tradition. Mm -hmm. I want to enlighten you because I did a okay. little research on this. <laughs> of course, always. <laughs> I found out that there's a a girls camp in North Carolina that claims <laughs> to have initiated Christmas in July really? back in 1935. Okay. There you have it. <laughs> well, not entirely. That's the thing. There's okay. other people that say that it dates back to the 1800s. Um, and I think, you know, in these Antipodian climes, we have an entitlement to mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Christmas in July because... Get out the mold wine. Well, for any of us who come from overseas originally, mm -hmm. This is about as Christmassy as it gets. Yeah, and we're used to, a lot of our traditions are around warming up in cold weather, so it makes sense. Also, as part of my research, I came across a movie made in 1940 <laughs> called, you guessed it, Christmas, Christmas in, in July. July. <laughs> and if you hang around to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you the, uh, the most perfect scene from that movie. Um, how does it feel to get hit in the face with a wet fish? What? Yeah, no, okay. wait for it. <laughs> but meantime, let's go in and enjoy the mm -hmm. celebration with the kids. So I'm going to put on my everyday Grinch hat for a minute, right? Mm -hmm. And my question is, why Christmas in July? Well, I think Christmas should be celebrated all year round, and not in the traditional sense of it, but in that we keep the joy of Jesus and the birth of Him in our hearts every day. And that we just bring that light into darkness every single day because there's so much darkness everywhere. And I would argue we should celebrate it all the time. I think Scrooge said it best, wouldn't you agree? I know what you're thinking of. I will honor Christmas. In my heart. In my heart and try to keep it all the year. Yeah. I will live in the past, the present, and the future and the spirits of all three shall strive within me. I will not shut out the lessons they teach. And children are so good at hearing those lessons and the wonder in their eyes when they walk into that room and the joy that they have in, in seeing light is a good reminder to all of us. And to be invited to sit on a rug and listen to mm -hmm. one of our dear older sisters reading Granny Glitton's Mittens from the Tall yeah. Book of Christmas. Kids just love that story. Yarn. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of all my Aussie friends as that story used the word yarn. yarn. <laughs> again, so. The heavy or. Yarn. 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 She was, and here she was in yarn. Australia, yarn means a story. Actually. Yeah, no, it, it was a good yarn. Wool. <laughs> Wall. <laughs> 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 I told you it was a good food fight. <laughs> what does that have to do with Christmas? <laughs> I don't know. We'll move right along. <laughs> Unsee that. <laughs> well, as you can tell, the Christmas tear has definitely found its way into our hearts this week. So hopefully you enjoyed that little window into our community experience. Yeah, and we'd love to know if you have any plans of your own for a Christmas mm. in July activity or celebration. So let us know in the comments what you think of that whole concept. And most importantly, Stay strong, stay warm, stay well, and, and as Tiny Tim would say, God bless us, everyone. everyone. What are you going to say for those of us celebrating Festivus? <laughs> With Seinfeld. Oh, yeah. Making a comeback. I know, I told it Festivus. <laughs> so 
much of a funny episode. <laughs>